The aim is to overcome Germany's engine embargo on the Altai tank with South Korea. In this direction, South Korea will deliver 85 power groups to Turkey in the first stage. Minister of National Defense Yasar Guler stated that the work on the Altai tank continues and that a total of 250 tanks will be produced within the scope of the project. Stating that the power group will be supplied from South Korea until the domestic engine is produced, Guler said, South Korea gives us 85 units. 165 of them will be done with the local power group. He said. With the ceremony held on April 23, 2023, the first two new Altai tanks were delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces to be used in qualification tests. With the two new Altai delivered, field tests will be carried out under very challenging conditions, which are planned to last 1.5 to 2 years. If the tests are positive, mass production of new Altai is planned to start in 2025. On the other hand, the development activities of the National Power Group for Altai continue. The 1,500 horsepower power group, which is planned to be put into operation in 2027, is currently continuing its tests both on the ground and on an Altai tank. Within the scope of the project, the Altai tank was renewed in accordance with the conditions of the modern combat environment during the time since its first prototype. Many subsystems that were problematic in procuring from abroad have been localized. Combat capability has been increased by adding updated technologies and innovations, and the national tank, which has additional features related to the experiences gained within the framework of the operations carried out by our army in recent years, has been redefined under the name, New Altay.